Okay, homemade cheese balls. They are delicious. Don't think the cheese ball that you get in the store that has a whole bunch of ingredients that you don't have any idea what it is. Um, we are talking about making a cheese ball from scratch, and it's very, very simple to do, and man, are they tasty. So this one starts out uh, with three blocks of softened cream cheese, and you could certainly use the light cream cheese. I like to pull it out of the fridge about 15, 20 minutes, maybe even a half hour, put it on your counter before you make this. If you didn't do that, take it out of the foil, put it on a plate, and put it in the microwave for no longer than like 15, 20 seconds. Any longer than that, and it'll spatter all over your microwave and melt, and you don't want that. You just want to soften it just a little bit. So then you're going to get in here with a mixer. I like to do this with a hand mixer or in your food processor. And you just want to beat this, the cream cheese, until it starts to get a little soft. So it's day number three after Arlo, our new dog, got his teeth pulled, one tooth pulled, went to the, the vet for teeth cleaning and ended up getting a tooth pulled. I'm happy to report he's back to his normal self. He's all good. He's got his Packers bandana on and he's ready for the big game. I don't know if I should say this, but I'm so going to. So I went out to a restaurant in the Green Bay area last night. Uh, Bob and I played tennis, and then we were both beat tired, and so we went to one of our area favorite restaurants, uh, picked up Ireland. Ireland went along with us and just went for soup and salad, and um, they have great bread there. And lo and behold, who do you think was there? The uh, entire offensive line had a little private room, and they're big. They are big guys, and I, I can almost only imagine what they they were eating. But all guys, uh, it wasn't. There were no significant others there. It seemed like it was a. Um, I mean, I didn't want to. Yeah, it was a bonding time. Exactly. It seemed like it was just a good outing before they hop on that plane, and uh, you know, uh, everyone left him alone, which is cool. Um, there was one little boy who went back and got an autograph, but. Um, as they were walking out, I said, hey, play great this weekend. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Uh, but anyway, I had to. I just had to. But man, they're big guys. And a table next to us said, is, is, is it just us? Or does it seem like it was a herd of elephants walking out? In a, big, in, in a good way. But it was like all these you know, heavy footsteps on their way out, the whole line of them. But it was really exciting to see them and kind of say goodbye, good luck. So anyway, OK, back to the cheese ball. I had to share that story. All right. In goes our three blocks of softened cream cheese. Now we're going to add some grated Parmesan cheese. This is some real mayonnaise. I don't want to use the, uh, the sweetened stuff for this, so this is the real deal. Again, you could use low fat. Garlic powder. Cooked crumbled bacon. So I know this is getting better and better, some great flavor. And then we're going to add a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce, some black pepper. So we're taking this cream cheese and just giving it some really fantastic flavor. I'm going to do some diced scallions. If you, your gang doesn't do onions, you could leave them out. And while I'm chopping up these scallions, I just wanted to um, give you an assignment. This weekend, besides watching the game and cheering on a Packers win and making some great food, your assignment is to talk about uh, coming to our next big night out. We uh, showed you what we were making earlier uh, this week. Five course meal. We're headed to the Appleton Beer Factory and it is going to be over the top amazingly good. Uh, we're doing crab cakes, there's salmon, there's a uh, pork dish with polenta, um, beer cupcakes with a little beer in them and a, an amazing frosting, a soup, all paired with your choice of uh, beer or wine. And of course, it's a, they make their own beer, so it's up to you. But it's a great, great bargain. $60 per person. It includes everything. And the nice, uh, it's the Monday before Valentine's Day, so it's a Monday February 9th. So it's a, a great time to get out and meet people, come with your special someone, come with your sister uh, or your family members. Um, 
or just come alone. We would love to see you out there. Okay, so our scallions are, are chopped, and now I'm just going to add shredded cheddar cheese. And we are about to the finish line on this. So call today to reserve your spot or uh, talk about it this weekend and definitely call on Monday because this one is going to book out very, very quickly. So at this point, I want you to cover this in plastic wrap and park it into the refrigerator. I want you to get that cheese ball to firm up a little bit so it'll be easy to work with and easier to shape it into a ball. So um, after you've got it all mixed together, cover it with plastic wrap in the bowl and put it in the fridge. Then when it gets a little firmer, you're going to use plastic wrap, and instead of a ball, I mean, you certainly can do a nice big cheese ball. That's going to be fine, too, but it's real easy to just shape it into a football shape, just like we've done here. So we just shaped that cheese ball with the bacon in there and the cheese and um, the scallions and just some, lots of great flavor into a, uh, into a football shape, and then we covered it. These are just pecans. And you just kind of press the pecans into the ball, and they stick really well. If you don't like pecans or you don't do nuts, what you can do is just cover it with bacon bits. So it's up to you. Now, we've got a great looking football. We've surrounded it with crackers. Um, now we're going to make some, some laces for this football. So I've got uh, roasted red pepper. This is just a jar of roasted red peppers that I'm slicing into strips here. I want to get a nice strip, nice long strip. So I'm going to take that roasted pepper and lay it right down here. And then we've got some littler strips. Greg, how many laces does a football have? Three? Is it, does it have three? Mm. How's that shape it up? Isn't that cute? And then park it in your fridge, and right before you know everybody comes over, pull it out, surround it by crackers, put a little uh, spreading knife in there, take a picture quick because it's going to disappear. And let me tell you. It is a winner every time, and it just really looks great on your game day spread, your game day buffet. And if you're um, looking for this recipe, of course, you can get it right on our website. Coming up, lots more game day ideas, plus we'll even take you out to Seattle. No time to cook uh, this weekend for the big game, no worries. Uh, we found one of the biggest sub sandwiches I've ever seen, and we'll show you where you can get it. Uh, plus green and gold stuffed peppers and a whole bunch of different ideas for your playoffs party. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.